sure you have. You've made pizzas, haven't you? I've made pizzas, well, yes, but not with an expert baker <laughs> overseeing what I'm doing. So I'm bound to roll it out the wrong I never way. feel very expert when I have all the perfect... I'm an amateur. You mean I'm an amateur? amateur. Well, Really. Isn't it feel lovely? It's beautiful. I wish you also make love to you. I know. Yes. <laughs> Very sensual. Later, dear, later. Uh, we're, we're, is that a problem? Oh, no jokes about buns in the oven, okay? From anybody. <laughs> but it is a very sensual thing, isn't oh, it's it? It's delightful, isn't it? You're teasing me now. Have you got a roller? Yes. Now, you really have to go at this. It's not like pastry, because, you know, it, 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 it's just like most lovers. It tries to get away from you to start with, and then you really get hold of it. Stop, Margaret. Margaret, <laughs> I, I can't take any more. <laughs> You, you passionate see, beast, you. Yeah, but you. I've always said on this programme, we've never had anybody in this programme who's never been full of love and happiness, often wine as well, it's true to say. I haven't had any wine. Yes, you have. Have I? Yes, of course did you, you have. Did you call me wine? Yes, of course oh, I did, I my darling. I was too busy getting the dough ready. <laughs> now, how I have been this standing my... rather a long time. I've only got a wee one. That's great. Because mine's going to go on a small plate. You always get the mine's shrinking back again. What the oh, hell, Margaret? Well, obviously, you're not a gentle enough lover. It has I'm to be coaxed. How dare you cast nasturtiums <laughs> upon, upon have, my... You have to coax it, darling. Right. Now then, you also, I think... Uh, that is coax. Can you pass me Very a fork, please, me. Andy, from behind you there? There is a thing called a dock. All the bakers that are watching are going to be saying, Oh, my goodness. There's a docking. Yes, but we're not all professionals at what we're doing. And um, although it's nice to know the terminology, which is for pricking well, it. That's for pricking it. It's yes. called docking. Yes, that's docking. Which is very important. We're putting these onto plates with a little bit of flour and lard underneath. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, and, right. the, and the vegetarians among them, of course, can do vegetable. They can use vegetable oil, but then they're going to spoil the flavour of the thing, well, aren't they? Well, I think so. I think so. You know, I used to make bread originally, and I used to use... I mean, we used to get... Real good dripping from the butcher. Is this sorry to interrupt you, Margaret? For my little bit, I hope it's self-explanatory what I'm doing here. Tomato um, crushed up onto the onto the bread, anchovy fillets, Looks and good. a simple pizza should have no more than things like this on it. It's not meant to have artichoke hearts and sweet corn and all the junk. Elizabeth David very correctly spoke of the wonderful quiche Lorraine that in the 60s was degenerated into a culinary dustbin, and I regret to say the same applies to the pizza. It's become a travesty of its uh, original, simple, and delicate flavour. And what's the flavor. bottom of them made of? They're sort of hard, cardboardy things, and you eat and you get this lovely gooey stuff on the top. Well, sometimes it's lovely. It goes through this lovely guaya cheese. What cheese are you putting on? Oregano. Oh, this is uh, grated Gruyere. Ah. Okay. And a bit of olive oil to make that look, for it to shine a little bit later. Fraction too much there, but never mind. Can I have the docker? You can have the docker. Can I be your docker? You can be my docker. Great! Right. That's the final bit, you see. Into your sexy dough, you'll make a few marks with this fork. So, they're ready, but they can't go into the oven for what? Oh, I would say about ten minutes. They ought to prove. What does prove mean? Well, they have to, you know, you've still got this live yeast in there and it has to come to its full maturity. It has to rise. It has to rise, yes. OK. Now, there's a marvellous old test, very quickly. A marvellous finish, but, you know, I think a lot of people who are making bread get really worried about how long to prove it. Tiny piece of the dough, the same dough, pop it into tepid water, it goes to the bottom. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the top, it's ready to put in the oven. OK, Simple well, as by the magic of television, that has come back to the top. No, not quite. I know it hasn't, but by the magic of television it has. And so, off this goes. Bring the spatula in, bring our baker in. There we the go. Peel, on the, the peel, the peel. The peel. Yes. Right, run along with the peel and into the oven, please. Thank you, Robin. Trenches are great, it's true. But with a slice of beef and a drop of real gravy, they're brilliant. But, of course, the Beeb couldn't afford a joint this size, so I've bought it myself, with the fee from my last series. A bit extravagant, but you can't beat a good British roast, can you? Right, Margaret and I would like to register a protest that we don't approve of lean bread beef. And we don't think housewives really want it either. We think they've been conned and hyped by the I mean, look at that. doctors and advertising I mean, look world. look at that, it's beautiful. I mean, just yes. those veins through it like that, just to give it the flavour. I, mean, I mean, it's not quite ready, but in another... Well, a let's pop it back in yes, the oven. it needs to go away. I would suggest without the top... Without the top now, because yes, the vegetables yes, have got a brown and so on. Thank you, my darling. Right, doesn't it? Yes. You know, I think even Aren't I... you clever? Yeah. 
I think even my Italian friends who make real pizzas would approve of that. Well, you've taught me something today. <laughs> I mean, I've never made a pizza. I don't, you know, I suppose we have, so we have the trenches. Well, well the trenches are the same. exactly the same thing. Of course they are. You're so clever. There we are. There's a little bit for you. See if you oh, like that. Thank you, it's not, oh, is it too hot? Oh, it's terribly hot. Have a quick swig of wine. Oh. Cool your fingers oh. down. Oh. Here, a little, little tiny bit. See how that I is. like your feeling. Oh, I've missed my olive. Oh. Oh, isn't now that's a real crust. Can you tell the difference? Oh, it's real. And the middle is, is soft and gooey. Look at that. That's excellent, isn't it? And of course, it's doing exactly what the trench does. It's all soaking in. Yeah, Look, Keith. Lovely. Instead of it all sitting on the top and you cut through and you get that hard piece of cardboard. That's right. Aren't you clever? Aren't I please? Oh, but you know. Oh, I think you're brilliant. All we need to complete a brilliant day. As is, is, as they say, if music be the food of love, then play on with a little music, a little relaxation. Would be the thing, oh, yeah, wouldn't we? It? Could we? We could. I think we've earned it, don't you? Oh, I would like to. That would be lavish. Shall we go? Yeah.